Question. Is it permissible for a man to grow his hair long, braid it, and put it in a bun or a ponytail? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka nabina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. The asl, the established principle or rule of thumb in Islam, is that in non-religious matters we are free to do as we choose provided that Islam has not weighed in with a specific ruling and provided that our personal choices do not violate do not violate general or specific Islamic guidelines in the matter of appearance and adornment Islam has given us the following guidelines number 1 clothing must cover the aura which means those parts of the body that must always be concealed of a man and a woman, respectively. Number two, hairstyles and clothing should not mimic those worn almost exclusively by non-Muslims or wicked, immoral people, even if they be Muslims. Number three, hairstyles and clothing of men should not mimic those typically worn by women and vice versa. Number four, Hairstyles and clothing should not be indicative of arrogance and haughtiness. Number five, hairstyles and clothing should not come at a price that amounts to a wasteful squandering of wealth. And number six, hairstyles and clothing should not generate shuhra, which means notoriety, standing out or being recognized in a bad way. And some of the indicators of a shuhra are, for example, that a person wears something, wears their hair or wears a garment which evokes general contempt or disdain. Or a person wears a hairstyle or wears clothing which elicits general criticism and raises eyebrows. People look at you as if you're weird, you're sticking out, you're, you don't fit in. And another uh, indication of shuhra is that the clothing or the hairstyle is inconsistent with societal or cultural norms. As long as a person's hairstyle or clothing does not violate these guidelines or a specific proof text delil regarding hairstyles or clothing. So, for example, there's some hadith which prohibits silk and gold for men. So even though it's not shuhra, even though it's not necessarily arrogance or haughtiness, there's a specific text that tells us that a man can't wear this. So as long as the person doesn't choose clothing which violates these guidelines, the general guidelines, or specific ahadith which prohibit that article of clothing or that hairstyle, then a Muslim is free to wear his or her hair in the style they choose and wear the kind of clothing that he or she prefers. That said, wearing long hair for men is supported by the practice of the Prophet ﷺ himself. Al-Bukhari has collected on the authority of Anas, that the Prophet's hair reached his shoulders. It is important to note, however, that the scholars have emphasized that the Prophet did not do so with the intention of making long hair for men a recommended practice or sunnah. But rather, the Prophet wore his hair long because that manner of wearing the hair was common during his time and amongst his people. So doing so is permitted for someone under similar circumstances, meaning if a person lived in a time and a place where wearing a man wearing long hair was normal and was deemed acceptable, then it would be permissible for him to do it, not sunnah. It would just be permissible. It is also permitted for a man with long hair to braid it into a ponytail or wrap it in a bun at the back of his head, as mentioned by Ibn Muflih in, in, in his book, Al-Adab al-Shari'ah. So in summary, it is permissible for a man to have long hair, to braid it and to make it into a and to make to make it into a tail or a bun behind his head, provided that in the time and place in which he lives, he will not be guilty of the prohibited imitation of non-Muslims or immoral people, even if they be Muslims, calling undue attention to himself or violating any of the other appearance specific guidelines which we mentioned previously. And Allah knows best. هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين